Hello everyone and welcome back to Trigger Happy Havoc. Last episode, we uh, we found out who did it. Well, we kind of found out who did it before, but this time, like, we found out exactly who did it. Um, for sure. And, um... He died. And we kind of had a fight with, uh... Monokuma a little bit. Um... Uh... Uh, yeah, actually not that much happened last episode. People were, we were, people were talking about it and everything, I guess. Um, and Makoto was very upset. Um, and we kind of had a chat with, um, uh, Kyoko. We had a chat with Kyoko about Sayaka and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I I'm going to get right back into it. I don't know what's going to happen next. It's nighttime right now. He didn't say anything. Uh, okay. Got another one of those things. He's not saying anything. That's a little strange. Yeah, he's literally not saying anything. Why is he not saying anything? I'm like kind of rooted up by that. He usually says something. Plus, it's kind of like the music is like spooky. It's gone. She, she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. Sorry. Hmm. So, hmm. what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be top staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air. That would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one will take. Uh, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because S Sayaka made the first move. Well. But if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. 
I'll be he here over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever expected, su ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be a well defended, uh, supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be an incredibly advanced seems to be incredibly advanced and they're providing for our every need and the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed honestly everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail this is not the work of your everyday psychopath defying them may be too great of a risk so then then what are we supposed to do <laughs> anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you, around you and win the game. N no. No. What? No what? Uh, I, I don't, can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, not Sayaka. Mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the Mastermind. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear, so be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. What was that about just n now? Uh, was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Boy's life a despair. Hm. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear. But Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> oh. 
Ah, uh, doesn't this just feel feel just great? Being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. <laughs> just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> what? <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't... It, oh, wrong voice. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. Do you, you think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, uh, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very So nice. go ahead. Look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monica disappeared, leaving us more confused than when he'd shown up. But... A new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know until we look. Hey. Whatever you meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it. More like a stable food a stable food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, well back to just exploring, I guess. Are they always watching us? Don't they ever get tired of it? Jeez, it took everything I had even just to think about mocking them. Now there's nothing new in here. This is one, uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Anything new in here? Um, winning championships and stuff probably came naturally to anyone going to school here. Yeah, that's that's not new. That's just the same thing. Okay. What the heck? Hey, Makoto. Did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious. That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to, s to send a message. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen to of devil's total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Uh, yeah, he's kind of a weirdo. <laughs> I don't understand half of what he talk he's talking about. Oh wait, can we go up? <gasps> we can go up there now. Weird. Got it. Makoto, look. The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor is opened up. You hear me? 
But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Okay, I will uh, go check that out later. I'm gonna, um... Uh, I need to find out what Monokuma meant by a new world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is still closed. There's still the store. Yo. I want to check the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but. <sighs> Just like I figured, it hadn't moved. It hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, be surpri surprised if you made things that easy for us. Hey, damn it. Hey. What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do you? No thanks. I think I've got enough for now. Yo. Well, okay. I'm gonna go look for another way out then. Maybe I should go check out the store. Oh, okay. No. I guess not. Can I not go in any of these rooms? Nope. Okay, then. I really don't want to go in. I don't want to see this place ever again. Okay, so I'm not even gonna try the other door. Let's try going down here. Nope. What? Okay, well, I guess... Um, the only place I can go, I think... Because I doubt it's gonna let me go out here. Yeah. It's not gonna let me. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna go upstairs. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Mo Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? We'll find out. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Nothing new, it's just a bathroom, it looks like. Wait. Um, this is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Okay. Hmm. This is a classroom. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around here. Hmm. He's probably just going to say the same thing. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. Even if the time was wrong, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I really don't like that. It probably says the same thing. Yep. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor too. The windows here have those same metal plates covering them. Alright. Let's leave the area. Huh. Whoa. There's a library. Wow. 
Okay. Let's go in here. Let's go in the library. Everybody's in here. Okay, what's this? This looks important. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what, what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of a higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust this letter had the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So, you're saying Hope's Peak, Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... That must have been all been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who create, could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, if it is real though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice simple solution. It's true. But then what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, we intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say anymore until we find out more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Okay, um... I, my, it's a little early, but my throat is really hurting. 
so I don't think I can read any more things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, it's only like less than five minutes early, so. Um, hold on, I'm just going to double check I can save. Yeah, I can save. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please go and check out some other Let's Plays that I've done down in the description below. I've done a lot of other games that you can go and check out, and I plan on doing a lot more in the future, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of that. Thank you so much for watching, you'll see you next time with this video. Bye-bye.